Series, the England man of the series was Adam Holyoke, his refreshing approach to batting, great impact from him. And for Australia, Michael Bevan, the all-rounder, fine fielding, good wrist spin and some excellent batting. And it was the Texaco Trophy, therefore, for Michael Atherton, the captain of England. And up there on the balcony, David Gower is at hand to talk to Ben Holyoke and Darren Goff, but first to the two captains. Michael, congratulations, a clean sweep, you couldn't have asked for a better start for the summer. No, we've played well, we've played with a lot of confidence and the side's been on top of its game for the whole week of the Texaco games. Looked a tougher target today at one stage? Yes, yeah, quick scoring ground here though, because if you beat the infield, short boundaries and fast outfield, um, so we're always confident to get in the runs um, and obviously we've got a bright start, which helped. Now, are you tempted uh, to pick a side today to keep the same side going beforehand just to make sure you uh, kept this clean sleep going or were you happy with the experiment of bringing in the players at that stage? Well, I said before the game that the changes weren't cosmetic changes. You know, we had an enforced one with Phil DeFraise's groin injury uh, and we felt that we only needed one spin on this pitch, so to play uh, Ben Holyoke uh, as an all-rounder. Um, you know, he wasn't, we weren't just throwing him in to give him a game. We felt that that was the best side to win the match. He certainly played well, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Terrific for an 18-year-old who's never played at Laws before in an international to go out and just enjoy himself and express himself, uh, which is what we asked him to do. I thought it was a terrific effort. But it's unusual for us, isn't it, to actually blood people that young? Well, people say that, but a lot of guys of late have been thrown in at about 21. Ben's a little bit earlier than younger. Yeah, he's than 19, he's, isn't he? He's yeah. 18, 19. Um, so in terms of recent England sides, it's a little bit unusual, yeah. Now, the spirit is obviously good. Um, you've got a tough series coming up. Whatever happens in these one days, we know that the test matches are hard, hard work. How optimistic are you now that you compete on level terms there? Or even, or, and better? Well, this uh, series has given us confidence. It's been a boost for us. Obviously, we wanted to win it, and we've done that. But we're under no illusions that the Test match series will be tough. Uh, Australia are top side. They'll come hard at us. Um, but we must be well prepared ourselves uh, and go into the game at Edgebaston full of confidence. OK, well, congratulations. We'll look forward to that. Thank you. See what happens up there. Steve, a day at Lords which promised much at the start. Yeah, we got off to a reasonable start. We were scoring quickly, but we uh, didn't really consolidate on our partnerships. We, uh, we probably should have got 300 on that wicket, and we had a lot of starts, but no one got the big score. Yeah, Mark played uh, brilliantly again, didn't he? Mark wore your twin. Yeah, he did, yeah. 95. I would have liked another 30 or 40 out of him, but uh, I suppose you can't expect too much from one player. Um, I would have liked a few more runs myself, but uh, so we got a lot of starts, but no one really kicked on to get the big score. Now, the question everyone's asking really is that you've come to England after a hard winter, well, a summer down south, um, it looks as though people are just struggling to reach their top form at this stage. Now, you've got a week or so, a couple of games in between these Texicos and the Test match starting. Is that going to be enough to get enough people into top form for the Test matches? Well, it's going to have to be, mate. We've got no choice. Uh, we've only got two games, but uh, it's not ideal preparation. But uh, as you say, we, get, we play a lot of cricket these days and uh, itineraries are pretty squashed. But um, we're a good enough side to get back there and we've got the players. It's just a matter of hopefully some of the batsmen getting runs over the next two games. Darren, many congratulations. Five wickets on a very good batting, tra batting track today. Yeah, I'll settle for that. I'm um, always pleased to get five for at Laws, especially a great occasion. Uh, not like I said, to get five on that wicket, I was very pleased. What's impressed me, though, is you've bowled very well throughout this series. It's almost as though if someone shows you an Australian, it raises your game 20%. Um, well, yeah, it's playing in an Ashes series, uh, anything like that, it's, it's great motivation. You, uh, and you get out there and do it. It's, but I've been bowling well now for the last year and a half. I'm, I'm happy with my game and, and I'm, I'm full of confidence. It certainly inspires the others though as well, doesn't it? Yeah, great performance, these, these three one-day games. They picked a one-day squad. It was a great squad and, and if we can keep this squad together, I'm sure we can go on and do things, better things. Well, only 11 can play in the, in the first Test match starting at Edgbaston. Must be looking forward to that now. Yeah, I'm not picked yet, but if I'm picked, I'll, I'll be looking forward to it. Uh, I played at Edgbaston two weeks ago, uh, and if the wicket's like that, I can't, I, hopefully I will be selected, so I can't wait. Ben, welcome to international cricket. That was fantastic. Were you expecting to get a game in the series? Um, I don't know about expecting. I was hope, hoping I would. I didn't think anyone was picked for... I don't think anyone earns a England call-up just for the sake of it, so hopefully I was you know, going to get a game. But you were obviously well prepared. Now tell us how you were feeling when you came out to bat at number three. Um... Not as nervous as I have been in other games in the past, surprisingly, but I just tried to block it out and uh, just do what I can do. Did you enjoy the atmosphere? Yeah, I loved it. It's the first time I've ever been here, and, but it's a good atmosphere in this ground now. Did someone show you where the dressing rooms were? Uh, yeah, actually I had to <laughs> kept, kept on asking my way up the stairs, where are they, where are they? Eventually I got there. Well, at least you found the way out to the middle all right. Yeah, I uh, had to ask, actually, again. I was like, where is it? How do I get out there? <laughs> 
Yeah. So it's a wonderful start to the season for you. It was a good winter, wasn't it? How much did that uh, the under-19 tour help you? Uh, it was brilliant. I learned a lot out there. It was hard cricket, and uh, I think the NetWest sponsorship of the youth development's a good thing. The overseas tour, top draw. Well, I'm very glad you said that. Well done. Thanks a lot. Well, I think what England got out of it was a great spirit among the team, and also self-confidence it really showed in everything they did in the past three matches and that augurs well for the ashes i know it'll be different in the ashes series with shane warren spinning them and fielders crouched on the batsman it'll be altogether different but still it's a good sign and confidence is almost everything and we'll be with the ashes series of course a week on thursday from edgbaston's the first of six test matches but our next cricket is the benston hedges quarter final that's kent versus warwickshire highlights from canterbury tuesday night just after midnight on bbc one